Hey everyone and welcome back to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Nemo. So I'm going to draw the character sort of in a three-quarter position facing towards the right. So I'm going to start by drawing in the eye on the left. Starting from the top, I'm going to draw a nice big circle. So starting on the top, we'll circle around. And then just merge this in to create a nice circle. From here we're going to draw the iris and pupil right in the middle. So we're going to draw a smaller circle in the middle, starting from the top. And then we're going to draw a little highlight. So it looks like the light is coming down from the left side. So we're going to draw a little circle on the top left. And underneath we're going to draw a pupil tucked in underneath the highlight. Drawing a little circle in behind. And we'll color that in black. Now because the character is facing three quarters, you're not going to see a circle for the right eye. It's actually going to be squashed. So what we're going to do is we're going to line up the tops. I'm going to draw a curve from the top of the eye curving down towards the bottom. Now we want to do a slight overlap and draw the outside edge of the eye. So just drawing almost like a half circle tucked in behind the bridge of the nose. We'll take that uh, pupil and iris and just tuck it in underneath this bridge. Starting from the top, we'll curve around. Let's draw that highlight circle tucked in behind the bridge here. And we'll uh, draw in the pupil underneath as well. Let's color that in black. From here we're going to move on down and draw in the mouth. So we're just going to have them with the mouth sort of smirk coming this way. So we're going to draw the smile line first underneath the left eye, a little curve like this. And then in the middle of this curve, we're going to draw a curve for the top of the mouth going up towards the right. Now we're going to go back to the starting point and tuck this in underneath the top of the mouth. So coming down and then tucking that in. Let's give them some teeth. So up here, we just draw a little curve coming down the middle and then tucked up at the top of the mouth. And for the tongue, we're just going to draw a little curve out here. From this point, we want to draw sort of the profile of the face up this way and then around towards the chin. So we're going to start at the top of this eye and just curve up the forehead going up. Now we want to dip down in the middle because there's a little pattern that comes down in the middle and then around the eye. So we're going to round out the front, we'll dip down and then up above the left eye. And then we're going to start to curve down and around and tuck this in underneath this eye. We're just going to draw almost like a big circle curving around underneath the mouth. From here we're going to go up and tuck this in and pull it back in towards that eye. From this point we want to start blocking in the body. So this brow actually sticks up on top of the body. So we want to step in just a little bit and draw the top of the body here. So curving up and then down. From here we're going to take the belly and just pull this up towards the tip of the tail. So right here we're going to curve up like that. From here, let's draw in the tail. From here, we're going to curve and round out, go up, and then pull it back down. So it's a little bit of a wave going to the back. From this point, we want to draw the tip of the tail. So curving all the way down about that far. And from this point, we want to curve and tuck this in underneath the belly. So there's a little bit of an overhang here. Let's block in the fin here. So we've got the little fin on the side. So from right here underneath the belly, we're going to curve out and back. We're going to draw a curve coming in. So just for a little bit of a spike, and then curve that back out. And we're going to curve this and tuck this in underneath the body like that. Let's go back up to the top of the head. We're going to draw the fin. So the big fin up here, it kind of looks like this. We start at the top of the head, we'll curve up and back. We're going to pull that back just a little bit. And then we're going to round out the back of the fin and pull this back to the top of the body. Let's draw a tiny little fin in the back here. So all we need to do Let's just draw a little curve going all the way back like that. Now we can start blocking in some detail. So right along here is a little stripe. So what we want to do is we want to follow this line just in the back and just kind of follow along with this dip in the front. Starting down here, we curve up, come down, and then just tuck that in on the top of the head there. We'll draw another stripe down here. So starting from the top, we're going to curve down towards the belly. And then we're going to do that twice, but we're going to start off a little bit wider at the top and come down a little bit tighter at the bottom here. Starting off wide, curving around, and then just pulling it in like that. At the tail, there's another stripe here. So we start at the tip of the little pinched area here on the fin, curve down, and we're going to do a reverse curve on the back. So right here, we'll just reverse curve it there. Now we're going to draw one more stripe in the back here. So right about here on the tail, We'll curve along like that. Now you can go in and start adding some of the fin stripes, the little stripes that go along the fins. So let's start with this little one here. I'm just going to pull a couple little random lines going along the side of the curve of the fin. On the back here, 
you just have to do the same thing. And they can be spaced out. They don't have to be the same length. They can be short, they can be long, all the way along that edge. Along here, we're gonna do the same thing. So curving this way with the shape of the fin. So you can see that I'm doing some closer together and some further apart. Right here, I'll probably draw one more there. And then on this tiny little guy, I'm just gonna draw a couple like that. And if you like, you can go in and start thickening up some of these stripes. So let's start with the tail part here first. I'm just gonna go right beside it and just draw a line just alongside the original line there. We'll go ahead and color that in black. Let's go to the next line here. We're gonna just thicken that up so it's twice as thick. Color that in black. And then moving back here, do the same thing, coloring that in black. And they don't have to be uniformly thick all the way through. It can be thinner or thicker at the top and then kind of go tapered in towards the bottom. So at the top here, on this stripe, I'm just gonna start off thick and then just taper to the bottom. Go ahead and color that in black. Do the same with this one here. Starting off thick at the top, I'm going a little bit thinner at the bottom. And then this one here, we're gonna start off thin again. Start to get a little bit wider as we get to the top of the head. Curving around and then just tapering it off again at the top. Go ahead and color that in black. And finally, the one above the head, because the brows are sort of overlapping the body, I'm gonna start off a little bit thinner here, go a little bit wider, and as I get to the top of the head, I'm gonna taper it out above the brow, go a little bit wider again in the middle, and then taper it out again. And just close that off like that. We'll color the inside area in black. I'm just gonna smooth this area out up here, and go ahead and color this in black all the way around, like so. And he's got a little, a black tip along this fin here, so we're just going to thicken up the edge just a little. We'll do the same thing up here. So actually there's a stripe inside of this fin. So we're going to start up here, curve in, and just curve all the way around. And we'll just go ahead and thicken that up all the way around. So it gets thinner at the tips and then thicker right in the middle area here. Like that. We'll draw one more down here. So another curve. We'll draw a little bit thicker there and that is pretty much it there we have it there's Nemo I hope you enjoyed this simple lesson thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon